Well, March break is just days away, and that means the parental pressure is upon us. And any time that happens, we turn to Amber Roja of ActiveParents.ca and ask the question, what's happening, Halton? Hello, Amber. Hi, how are you? I'm doing all right. Now, I remember March break when I was a kid. I'd wondered if the ice was still going to be on the rinks, but that is definitely not the case in 2024. No, every March break, we don't know whether to promote tobogganing and ice skating or, you know, an early swim in the lake. Well, <laughs> that's that's when the kids are bad. You take them for a swim and get out there. Uh, but we're actually going to start things off today with an activity that I remember doing as a kid, but it was frosty cold uh, and it involves maple syrup. This this year, though, it'll probably just be a nice outing outside. Absolutely. We are in the depths of maple syrup season and there are festivals happening all over the region. You can head to Mountsburg Conservation Area. They have Maple Town, which is super popular. Families love it. You get to do some sampling. You take a horse-drawn ride throughout the grounds. You can check out the sugar bush demonstrations. Lots happening. And then, of course, they have animals and great outdoor activities to make a full day of it. So I think the only thing kids won't be getting from that experience that I remember is the snow popsicles. Do you remember those with the maple syrup? They're the best, but yeah, it's not looking promising right now. No snow, but I'm not complaining because that means no shoveling, uh, because that could have been what the kids were up to. Uh, But nonetheless, uh, if weather does turn and there is a chance we could get some rain, you do have options there as well. And that is go to a mall. But we have four regions in Halton, so we've got four spotlights for you. So let's kick things off in Milton. What's doing? So if you have Paw Patrol fans, you are going to want to take them to Milton Mall. They'll get some uh, meet and greet time, photos. They'll get to hug their favorite characters. And then there's free activities happening at the mall all week as well. Okay, so Paw Patrol in Milton, if we scoot on over across the way and we have some Georgetown residents watching, where are they going in Georgetown? So you can go and find a full week of activities. There's magic, there's animals, there's hands-on creatives, tons happening in Georgetown. Down the way, we hit up Oakville. There's many in Oakville Mall, but what's the spotlight? Oakville Mall and Burlington Mall Mm -hmm. are both hosting Paw Patrol and Gabby from Gabby's Dollhouse. Those are huge characters for the younger crowd. Plus, they have a week of uh, in-mall activities, so it's great if the weather turns. Finally, let's get to uh, another option for indoors, and that is take them to a toy store. This is something I remember when I was a kid, but it seems like toy stores have really rallied around this now, and it's not only go and look at things on shelves, but there's activities too. I think they've realized that some hands-on play is good for sales. So all week long, every day, there's a different theme at both Toys R Us and Mastermind Toys. Kids will get to explore with some Play-Doh, They'll build things with Star Wars Lego. They'll learn about aqua beads. I don't know if those have entered your realm yet, but there's a ton of different hands-on play activities for kids every day of the week at every different toy store. I feel like there might be a dad or two sitting at the Star Wars table just going, no, 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 we're not leaving yet. I'm not done this particular bit of Lego here. Something you can do together on March break. Uh, Many other activities are available too, and they are all available and listed at the website. Hit it up, Amber. ActiveParents.ca.